I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, Six Pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? So this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. This is another Patreon request for Felix of another Diary of a Wimpy Kid film. The second one called Roderick Rules from 2011. Now if you want to request pretty much any type of review or video, movie topic, reaction, whatever, you just send a request directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. I did not like the first one. I didn't like this film either, man. Because I don't care for these characters. The, the lead kid just feels a bit too mopey and whiny. His buddy just seems a weird, special, whatever the fuck about him. Makes me think, what's his malfunction about? This is more of his older brother, the lead kid's older brother, who's a fucking dickhead wearing goddamn eyeliner. The only interest, like in the first film, is I like the drawings and the way the characters are introduced is like the drawings are in the real world. I wish the whole movie was that way. These blacky white tip, you know, just regular drawings walking around, moving around, talking in the real world. I wish the whole movie was that. That would make the film more interesting at least. But could still be hampered by a poor script since some of the writers from the first film came back to do this. The plot to this film, it's another year school. The family goes to this roller skating place where the weird kid who wanted the fuck, who had a freckle and a hair on it, gives them free pizza, but it was pizza from the trash. So when the lead kid eats into it, there's a fucking piece of bubble gum. And this weird kid takes the gum and is like, I'll save it for later. Like this kid is going to be a serial killer. He's probably going to save fucking human body parts for later. To eat or fillet or both. Fuck's sake. The parents are still aloof and blind as fuck to how asshole the older brother is. Like I said in the first film, Steve Zahn and the the mom are aloof, obtuse motherfuckers. I just... The mom wants the two brothers to bond. I forgot that to even mention there's a third brother who's like the baby brother. Because all he does in this film, these two films, is be annoying and do bad shit. Like this one puts shit into our leads video game system and the mom's like ah oh, he's just three uh bullshit the parent would be pissed because who do you think bought that video game system the mom would be like fuck i paid uh two hundred dollars for that no she'd be pissed at the little kid and not just going she's only three years old no trust me the parent would be a bit pissed Maybe not treat the kid like shit, but 
something would happen. I feel like these are the worst parents ever. The mom says, I want you and your older brother to bond. So here's mom bucks. And the more you do stuff with each other, the more mom bucks. And you need to give them, put them in for real bucks. Which then makes me go, what is the point of the mom bucks? Why don't you just say, I'll give you a dollar each time? Because it's not like if you save enough, then you get, like, if it was five mom, let's say five of these, <coughs> similar allergy to bullshit, let's say five of these equal one dollar, or five of these equal two dollars. No, each, each mom buck equals one dollar. If that's the case, why don't you just give them money to begin with? I'm going to give you fake fives so I'll, you turn them in to get a real five. You have three, I'll give you th f three fake dollars and it's changed, you get three real dollars. Then what's the fuck of even having the mom bucks in the first place? You just go, hey, you do that, you get a dollar. I just, whatever, I didn't understand that, but. This uh, talent show that the older brother, he's in a band that's all coming to play at the end of the film. These are the worst parents. The reason I say these are the worst parents ever is that they do shit that on one hand, I could see why the lead kid is complaining. But man, there are times he there's something he could do easily do and change things. But again, the parents are shitty, too. For example, they get to church, right? And the little kid, the baby brother, left a fucking candy bar. So, of course, the lead kid sat on it. And now it makes it look as if he shit his pants. He didn't. Now, his parents see this. So, the kid's like, I don't want to go into church with this. And the parents force him to do it. Or go, okay, you don't wear this girly, hippie-looking sweater around your waist so then of course the older brother fucks with him takes gets it taken off everyone thinks he's got shitty pants they of course the lead kid decides to fight his older brother and then the parents decide to discipline both i'm like are you fucking kidding me you left the baby brother to leave a goddamn candy bar to start this in the first place, but you're not going to reprimand him. You forced him to go to a church that he didn't want to fucking go into, but you just forced him anyway, so it's your fault as well, parents. And then the older brother, you saw that he purposely started this, but you don't, I mean, part of me is like, I understand why this kid's such a mopey bastard now. If he had parents like this, you, you don't need enemies, you need Jesus. You don't need enemies, you need enemas. <laughs> Suck all the fucking bullshit out. God damn, man. Just unlikable people everywhere you go in this movie. The older brother's a dickhead. The parents are stupid pieces of shit. The lead kid's mopey. His buddy's f fucking out goddamn La La Land. Chloe Grace Moritz, who is the seventh grader reporter in the previous film, she never appears back in this, nor her character. So, what the fuck was even a point? Fuck happened to her? I just, Chloe Grace is like, I'm not doing another fucking, I'm not doing one of these movies again. Can I blame her? Characters just bitch a lot. And then, finally... The parents are away. The older brother gets a party going. The lead kid kind of gets his way into the party. His buddy starts a conda line. The party goes well. Some random stuff like the there's a sleepover. Like this whole subplot of 
hey you do this would you be you be a hit on the internet now try to fall backwards how do i fall backwards on purpose then he actually sits on a spiky thing leaked his film in it when they put it on the internet it gets four views then later on they're wa- they having a sleep over the watching this horror film called the foot and the f- pumpkin kid the the overweight kid you get scared I guess because if you're fat, then you're easily f- fear, easily succumbs over you, I guess. Apparently, that's the one of the rules of, of this movie. This type of film is if you're overweight, you get steered easily. <laughs> I guess because they think of Lou Costello or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Apparently, if you're fat, you steer more easily. But then the brothers, the, the lead and older brother are bonding. The bonding over throwing fake vomit pranks on people. Whoa, whoop, whoop, what's that? It is a fake vomit. Yay, I'm glad they're picking on these random innocent people that did nothing to them. But I'm supposed to tear because they're bonding. Fuck these people. Fuck the brother. Fuck the older brother. They could go fuck themselves in a 69 flying position. V trap, V style, Venus fly trap. I don't give a fuck each other's heads off maybe made for a better movie if they did that I just didn't give a shit about these characters and yeah random shit like this one kid who's in the first movie he's come back and people playing the invisible game with him so no one's supposed to see him oh look like the guy has a corn dog and the lead kid goes oh must be a floating hot corn dog huh and people laugh I'm like Fuck you! This is a pretty rude prank as well. Fuck you! Le- wimpy kid. That's diary of a wimpy kid. So the lead must be the wimpy kid. Fuck you, wimpy! Hey, wimpy! Don't eat some fucking hamburgers till Popeye comes and gets ready. This fucking movie, man. These. So, of course, the parents find pictures of that party. They both get punished. All the brothers pissed about it. Dissed the diary. He's going to tell this girl that he likes. So the kid, instead of taking 30 seconds to put on a pair of fucking pants, because 30 seconds make much of a difference, he decides to run outside in his tidy whiteies. And then accidentally runs to the women's bathroom. And blah, 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 blah. Lean up to you at the talent show. The lead kid says, fine, I'll do this magic with my buddy, even though I don't want to, if you let him be in the band and do his band stuff. During the magic show, his buddy has a bird and it drops dead. Literally, it's dead. But then it flies away. But hey, he got his brother to play the band. They're perfectly fine, but not really. So great, I get unlikable characters once again. Unlikable pieces of trash that just mope or bitch or pieces of annoying or irritating or almost hateful sons of bitches. Pardon me wants to say. Great. A bunch of characters I don't give a shit about and I'm supposed to spend time and like. Why? Why am I supposed to like any of these characters? The older brother is a bully bitch. The lead character, he does some bullying his own. He's kind of a selfish, absorbent bitch. The mom and dad are oblivious bitches. How many bitches in the sea? A lot more than just you and me. I, I hate these fucking movies. I hate these fucking films. I never read the books they're based on. I don't know if they're better or worse than these. If you like these films, cool. I don't know why the fuck this has a franchise. I did not care about the music. The direction is nothing to note. I, w- I would say there is no direction in these movies. The comedies, they didn't make me laugh. To have gross humor. Previous one was butters and piss jokes here with... The fake vomit jabs. (sighs) 
just didn't care. Just did not care. So with that said, fuck the wimpy kid, fuck all these kids, fuck everybody in this movie, and fuck off. And ride off into the fucking sunset, then sit on it and burn their ass. See you guys later. Bye-bye.